welcome to Helena Carroll's video on how to make kerchiefs or cleansing water. Um, cleansing water is great to use before a ritual to maybe like wash your hands or I actually put it in a spray bottle so I'm like tss, tss, just kind of spray it uh, on myself after of course I've actually physically washed my hands and washed up as just one final cleanse um, before coming before the gods. In addition, uh, I actually also use it to clean my altar spaces when I'm doing kind of my cleanings of them to kind of purify the area. So it's just a really great cleansing and purifying water. Now what you need to make kerchips, um, and I might be saying what you need to make cleansing water, um, is you're going to need a bowl to put your water in and to make it in. And so I'm actually using this beautiful uh, bowl that was made in Greece and it's just really pretty and you're going to need some uh, distilled or purified water. I actually have a purification uh, filter at home, so I just took some of the water from that. I put a very low amount in because I have a very small spray bottle, so <laughs> um, I, like, I prefer to make it more often than to have water sitting. Um, I just feel like it's better to do it that way. Uh, you're also gonna need a candle, and if you wanna put it on a decorative little votive like mine, you're very welcome to. Uh, to represent the hearth fire and for Hestia and for the gods. Um, I highly suggest using bay leaves. Of course, they're one of the symbols of the gods. They're also uh, symbols for cleansing and for purification. So this is uh, a really good thing to put in your kerchiefs as well. I also uh, usually put in sea salt, but I was out of sea salt. So this time we're using pink Himalayan salt, which is fine. It's going to dissolve in the water anyway. Um, and also, you know, don't feel stressed if your store doesn't stock sea salt. Um, you know, I, actually my store doesn't stock it all the time. So uh, salt in on its own, regardless of sea salt or pink Himalayan or regular salt, um, salt in general has been used as something to purify things for a long, long time. It's been associated with that. So any salt will do. Um, and then I also have some peacock feathers here. And I usually put a couple of pieces of peacock feather in mine as well because I work a lot with Hera. Something else you can put in uh, your cleansing water is essential oils if you'd like it to just have a nice smell. That doesn't do anything as far as the cleansing, but it does make it nice and, and pleasant to smell, pleasant to use. So we're going to go ahead and light our candle now. Oh, and of course you need matches. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> forgot about that bit. With candle, must have matches. There we go. Hestia, goddess of the home and hearth, first and last born daughter of Rhea and Kronos, we welcome you and your brothers and sisters, the gods, the Olympians, the immortals. Come now and be welcome here. And so I'll just go ahead and use that same match that I just used to light that. And we're going to take, now this is like our hearth fire. This is a representation. We're just going to let that burn a little bit. and We purify this water and cleanse this water in the name of the gods, in the name of the Olympians. I'm going to go ahead and also put some of my pink Himalayan salt in. Oops. Now, how much you put is completely dependent to you. Um, I'm trying not to spill the, spill the water. But I'm, I'm just putting like a little pinch in. I might actually want to put in a little bit more. Um, this container is not easy for me to get salt out of. There we go. So I try to put in like half a teaspoon. It's not that much. And I'm, as I'm going to put it in, I'm going to ask the gods to make this water pure and to cleanse the, anything that it touches. Mother Hera, Father Zeus, and by the name of all the gods, I ask you to cleanse this water and for it to purify all that it touches. I thank the gods for all they have done for us and ask you to continue blessing us as your children and to allow us to have this water as a way to make ourselves clean, 
to come before you. Now I want to note here that I'm I'm not following any script. I'm actually just doing things off the top of my head. Um, so if you have a script and if others have or you find a script, you are more than welcome to use it. I do a lot of my stuff kind of through intuition um, when it comes to kerchiefs or, or the actual offering portions of rituals. So um, I don't actually have a script for this. I'm just doing it off the top of my head. And now the one thing that I love to do because it smells so good is again to bring that hearth fire into the kerchiefs, but this time with the bay leaf because it smells amazing. Oops. So I'm just going to light that on fire. Ooh, look at it crackle. I love that. And it's just going to burn out on its own. I'm going to extinguish it in the kerchiefs. And that's it pretty much. You have your kerchiefs. And like I said in addition, I love to put in a little bit of, of peacock feathers in mine. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that right now. I just think it makes it look super pretty in the bottle too. I only put like a couple because I don't want to waste these, you know. I thank the gods for their assistance here today in creating this pure, purified and cleansing water. And I look forward to using it to serve them. And that's it. Thank you so much for joining me and have a great day.